Hey guys, so I want to talk today about, I've had a lot of questions on break-in periods for the rifle. What's the best way and what procedures do I use for my rifles breaking them in? Okay, so there's a lot of talk about this online and I figured that this would be a good video to talk a little bit, a bit, a little bit, to talk a little bit about this. Okay. So, for my Ruger Ranch, when I, when I took it out, uh, before I shot that, brought it out, you know, past, past a thousand yards, I shot 50 to 60 rounds. I did a break in period of shoot five shots, clean through with just a bore patch, just a patch, no solvent or anything. Um, just run patches through there, and every five shots, that's what I was doing. Okay, so that's what I did for a Ruger Ranch. Now, what people are might be surprised to hear is for my Ruger Predator in 6.5. Before I took that out and shot that pretty far. I mean, first day I was out to a thousand yards with it. The second day I was shooting out to a mile. Okay, that was that was, that was the first two days I ever shot that rifle. Guess what I did for that for that break-in period? Nothing. I just shot it. I just shot it, and that was it. There was no break-in period. I didn't clean the gun at all. Um, so there's two things about this. Okay. Number one was when I was at the shooting school down at Bang Steel. I spoke to Dan. He's the he's the instructor there, and I asked him, "Hey, listen." Do you, like what? What is the importance of a of a break-in period? And now I know that usually you want to get some copper uh, deposition in there, so it basically, you know, it it, it, it smooths out it smooths out those those rifle the rifling in the barrel. And he was saying basically, you don't need to do it. Some of the best shooters don't use any break-in periods or any different certain procedures. So, I was like, alright, listen, you're the expert, you know what you're talking about, I'm just going to do what you say, right? And this, is, this comes down to a lot of what I tell people, there's construction over there. Um, there's so many people who are just talking shit online, and so many people who believe it. Um, these people may or may not shoot that far. And these are people listening to other people say, oh, you have to do this, you have to do this. They're not experts, they're just spouting off shit that they heard from someone else who's probably just like them. You have to find an expert, find out what they're doing. People who, who are actually doing what you want to do and search them out, find them, and ask them. They know, they've done it, right? So, what happened with the, with the breaking period on my on the 6.5, on the, on the Ruger Predator. Basically the first day I shot, I was, I was just shooting to get, getting all my dope for that rifle, right? So I was at 100, once I zeroed in, boom, we're out. We're shooting 3, 4, actually I think I jumped to 4, and then we went to 900, and then from there we, we kind of reverse engineered, seeing where the hits were at what elevations on the, on the scope, what, what it was dialed in for, and from there we entered that into some, some ballistic calculators and it gave us a whole spreadsheet from you know 100 to 2,000 yards it gives you the the, the, di the elevation you have to dial in so you have your dope then for that and it was I mean, the first day spot on spot on spot on and these I mean these are the first literally the first rounds that I'm putting through this rifle there was no break-in period I had just got that brand new brand new now the second day okay I come back shooting again and I'm noticing I'm, I'm off all the all the data that I had compiled the day before was just off a little bit and I'm figuring what, what the hell's going on here yeah I didn't change anything nothing happened uh, we checked I checked the, the, the scope base checked the scope rings everything was tight so I'm like it's weird um, so I spoke I asked Dan I'm like listen I'm kind of off kind of off so we went back to the 100 yard zero and sure enough I was about an inch high at 100 yards, and what what happened was, after shooting about, I shot around 
60, 60 to 70 rounds that first day, but you want to you want to coat that barrel with a layer of copper, right? So you want to shoot through there and get and and as those that bullet travels through that barrel and twists, it kind of looks weird, like a, um, but it twists that bar that that bullet twists through that barrel. It's leaving the copper deposits all along those grooves. When you shoot and you and you send 60 rounds through that barrel, it, it, it smooths out any any imperfections that the machining could have caused uh, with a with a factory barrel, right? So that's what was happening, and it actually set the zero a little bit a little bit off. So people are gonna say, well, they should have done a break-in procedure. Either way, if I had done a break-in procedure or just shot 60 rounds straight, we probably would have done the same thing. And the second day through, I, we had to readjust a little bit. Um, actually, we didn't have to adjust at all. We just had to re-zero the rifle. Right? So I re-zeroed the rifle, redid it, re reworked the turrets, put that zero in uh, where, it, where it was now, and started putting the di dialing in, and I was spot on with everything then. So, do you need to... I guess the better question is, does a break-in procedure matter? A break-in, a break-in procedure, just shooting through the gun, is gonna, is gonna lay that 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 very 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 fine layer of copper in that barrel, which is what you want. From there, you're good to go. So, do you need a break-in procedure? Like one of the, you know, I know some people who fire one shot, take it, you know, clean it, rod through, patch through. And they'll do that for 50 rounds or so. It's 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 kind of intense and I think unnecessary, right? Um, but do you need to shoot through the barrel a bit before you before you get your zero? Yeah, yeah, I would. So so if you get your rifle, you know, have fun with it. You can still get all the all the data, all the dope data for your rifle, but you're gonna have to probably re-zero it after that first day of shooting. After you put the first 60 to 70 rounds through there, um, after the first 50 rounds. Probably it's going to be the same thing, but you got to put some rounds through the barrel before you really zero it in. So that's what I would say, and those are the biggest those are the biggest things. And that second day, I, I was shooting out to a mile, right? I was I was shooting out to I I had four hits out of twelve shots at eighteen over over a mile. So you know, there's going to be people who say you need to do a break-in procedure. That's you know that's that's what you have to do. Uh, and I used to think that too before I actually went and shot long distances and actually took a rifle out and and did it and actually did it. Uh, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that I feel like in the long range world people really obsess about super accuracy. Uh, and there's there's almost a, there was a move there's a there's a movement in there where there's almost an obsession over. Over yeah, super accuracy. I mean, every little thing has to be perfect to the to the nearest one hundredths of, of an ounce. Um, you know, does it? No, it doesn't. I mean, when you get into if you want to shoot groups like this at a thousand yards, yeah. yeah. If you just want to hit targets, you know, body size targets at a thousand yards, no, you don't. So you have to ask yourself practicality. What do you What are you really looking to do? And um, you know, the biggest takeaway is you have to go out and actually do it yourself. Otherwise, you're never going to know. You can sit here and you can watch my videos and, you know, that looks cool and you have all these ideas in your head. You have to actually go do the thing. Once you do the thing, then you have a greater understanding of everything. And you're not just relying on some, you know, 2-2-3 two, two, shooter or 6-5 butt boy on on some form, you know. Um, get an idea for yourself. Don't rely on opinions of others. Go to experts and then do it. Okay? Um, that's one video that I want to do. Just talk about the breaking procedures. It's really up to you. It's really up to you. If you want to go through the breaking procedure and do all that stuff, I mean, if you're OCD and you feel like that's what you need to do, go ahead and do it. If you don't want to, don't. You're probably gonna have the same results either way. Okay, so that's it. Hope uh, hope I gave you a little, just a little chunk of chunk of knowledge there. Do with it what you will, 
and um, have a good one.